What's up, guys? It's Jay. Morning after kill. And over the years, I've developed a little bit of a love-hate relationship with Gearbox software. And I, I think it's fair to say that a lot of the Borderlands faithful have always had some sort of love-hate affair with Gearbox regarding the decisions made with the franchise. But when it's all said and done, Borderlands 1 and 2 are some of the most uniquely addictive first-person shooter games ever. Even if you don't agree with some of the decisions that Gearbox has made in the past, it's still a top-notch offering. There's no denying that. But, as a Borderlands fan, it's easy to look at a company like Gearbox and, and throw their flaws in their face. I, I've done it a whole hell of a lot in the past, especially since uh, some of their non-Borderlands offerings have been, let's just say, Aliens Colonial Marine-ish. <laughs> but admittedly, I, I understand what it's like to be in a position where people only want one specific type of content from you, and, and sometimes you just want to take a little bit of a break. That hits home all too well. <laughs> Having too much of anything eventually will tire you of it. It's it's easy to sit here and say, Gearbox, why you Battleborn when we Borderlands? Right? But the more I've been sitting here lately trying to figure out exactly what Gearbox's strategy is for Battleborn, I, I, I kind of had an epiphany, like sort of a eureka moment. And I just wanted to share that with you guys today, a little bit of my, my thoughts regarding the facts. So here we have Battleborn coming from Gearbox Studios. Woo! <laughs> it's essentially a first person MOBA in the same vein as say, League of Legends, Dota, and Smite, which is a huge departure from anything Gearbox has ever offered. And we'll go head to head this spring with similar offerings from indie studio favorite High Res Studios, the uh, creator of Smite. They have a brand new free to play game called Paladins. And we also have corporate juggernaut Blizzard over there trailblazing their way through the beta similar entries into the genre with their Overwatch game. It's, if, if Battleborn isn't poised to fail, then it definitely has a huge uphill battle if it wants to succeed. Especially considering that Battleborn has the highest price point out of all three games. It seems kind of like Gearbox is wasting their time developing this game. Why would Gearbox go ahead and waste their time with Battleborn with such steep competition in the field? Why does a game that only needs a PvP game mode come with an objective-based campaign? Why would they invest so much time and money into a risk like Battleborn when they have a killer franchise like Borderlands to play off of it? It, it, it kind of hit me! Fucking sly ass Randy Pitchford. <laughs> With his love for sleight of hand magic. Yep. Is added again. And the number one rule of sleight of hand while your attention is focused where the magician wants you to focus, the real trick is happening. Off to the side. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Randy! They're doing the same thing car manufacturers have done to us for years. Battleborn is nothing more than a concept vehicle for Borderlands 3. <laughs> it's a learning experience. It's, it's allowing them to get a base of code and built 
experience coding this engine and tweaking this engine on next generation hardware through their ship system, but also using it as a testing bed for features that could end up making an appearance in Borderlands 3, such as competitive PvP to compete with Destiny in a division in upcoming years. And what better way to do it than to try something totally new? Because if Battleborn fails, big deal. Their gearbox, they already have a reputation for being the Borderlands company. With a few meh games on the side, but what's another meh game to add to the list? If it gives them a few years of experience and data to incorporate into what could be the biggest Borderlands that we've seen yet. Hot damn! Exit spam. My name is Jay. What an answer. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. If you can leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers and watch my motherfucking videos. Tell me in the comment section down below. Do you, do you feel like Battleborn could actually be a testing bed for something bigger? Do you believe that, that Gearbox has as much passion for Battleborns as they do for the Borderlands series? Because honestly, Sitting here from the outside looking in, the Battleborn art style looks painstakingly familiar to Borderlands. And maybe if they can prove themselves worthy of making a great PvP experience with a brand new IP, then maybe it'll strengthen the case when they unveil PvP in Borderlands 3. Possibly, maybe. No, <laughs> tell me what you think in the comment section down below. My name's Jay. What an kill. Thanks for watching, and I'm gonna see you guys later.